There are more than 6 million eligible voters and a record 39 parties running for a seat in the Knesset. But ultimately, it is one man and one man only who has a big decision to make in shaping the next government, and that is President Reuven Rivlin. It is his job to ask the leader of one party to try and form the next ruling government. When the votes are counted, Rivlin will bring the heads of all parties together to his house in Jerusalem and ask for their recommendations on who should be the prime minister. Yeah, there's a good chance that in this race, when it's all said and done, that one party will get the most votes. A different party could have the bitter blo bigger block. It's also possible that neither Gantz nor Netanyahu gets a majority of recommendations. That has happened before in Israeli elections. And then it is the president alone who decides what to do next. It's a very tough uh, decision, very heavy one, even more so because of Rivlin's personal situation. His wife, Nechama, is in a coma at the hospital fighting for her life. No, Neither the president nor the leaders no, of political parties will determine who will be prime minister. The only ones who will decide who will be the next prime minister and the kind of government there will be are you. You must vote so that you can make a difference. For 50 years I've been voting together with my wife. I've already voted and I hope that next time we will vote together in the place where we live.